the price of textbooks continues to rise every year. A typical senior, if we are just to buy all their textbooks new, it'll be anywhere from 700 to 900 bucks to buy the textbooks for one senior. Eventually, the price of technology keeps dropping, the price of textbooks keeps going up, and somewhere along the line, we're going to make that jump. A few weeks ago, we did something called a strategic plan. Well, we had uh, five groups of people there. We had parents there uh, from all different campuses. We had um, faculty there uh, from the different uh, age levels, alumni there, board members there, and administrators there. There were 45 people in all that met. We met down at First Baptist and um, met for two days total. And, um, and five initiatives emerged out of that strategic plan. I'm not going to give you the whole ball of wax on this, but here are the five things that that group said are things we're going to focus on in the next 1,000 days. The first one, and these are in order of how many votes they received by those 45 people there. The first one is our middle school facilities are going to get a little attention. B.B. Carter's already been working over Christmas break. Some things have already been done with that. And, um, and we're going to keep moving forward with those middle school facilities. Uh, second was the hiring of a development officer. We do plan to do that for next year. Uh, the third piece is, is kind of interesting is branding came out as something that we, that we needed to do. Now branding is, is you don't necessarily think that, um, that ministries, Christian schools, that branding would be among those things. Um, the, the concept there is that the message of who Ben Lippin is, of what we genuinely are, and even what we're not, gets clearly communicated, particularly with the Columbia community. Um, the, the fourth thing was the resident program, and again, we've made wonderful strides in that. And then the last thing, number five, was faculty and staff salaries. Um, those to be competitive in years to come, our middle school facility, while it needs work, it is not going to be what is carried with the middle school students 10, 20, and 30 years from now. What our, middle school, what our current middle school students will walk away with is what has bled out of the life of the faculty members and bled into their lives. And so we, we absolutely want the best faculty we can get. And salaries are a, a one way that we can attract the very best faculty to Ben Lippin. Um, and then this brings me to the place where I announce what tuition is for next year. The tuition deposit is going to go from $400 to $500, which is a reasonable amount that, that will hold the seat for that new student. And that $100 increase will be the entire increase for next year. So it'll be the smallest tuition increase on record, um, at least in, in an awful long time. And we, we always have to weigh with that finance committee and the full board, we want to keep moving our school forward. And it does take funds to move our school forward. We want to be, on the other hand, sensitive to parents who are paying tuition to keep us going. So our enrollment is up. It's doing very well. I checked RenWeb a few days ago. We had 803 students um, when we started the new semester. Another change that, that everybody will see next year is this, that our billing systems, I wouldn't use the word archaic, um, but I can't actually use a better word for it. We, we have a really uh, outdated system of billings. In fact, it is possible that some families, I see some people shaking their head, it's possible that some families in here could get four different or maybe even five different bills from us from different people in one month. So um, we're spending a, an awful lot of manpower sending those bills, collecting those, accounting for those, pulling those all together. And we just, we're finally at the place where we just said enough's enough um, and we're going to put all that online also. So all the families will, you'll just be able to go to benlippin.com click on the financial piece on that, and you'll just see what's on there. You will get to choose what day of the month you want to pay that, um, how you pay it, whether it's electronic or whether you send in a check or whether you use a credit card or things like that. You'll be able to have, have just one-stop shopping with that, and it's going to help us tremendously. It really could cut about two-thirds of our expenses out of just the processing of this. Another thing that's coming for next year, you're already aware of this, is campusware. Some people are very excited about this. Others are very fearful and skeptical of this. And so the, any school that walks into campus where deals with this, everyone. There's none in the country that it's just has gone from non, not being there to being there, that it's not been at least, um, at least bumpy. What I'll ask of everybody is just this. It's the old Mikey Life cereal thing. Try it. I think you'll like it. The deal is, and you might not, but, but just give it a shot. The, um, the folks who have been in schools that have used it 
will overwhelmingly say, we have a high level of respect for and we like it. Folks who have never done it before will overwhelmingly say, I don't think we're going to like it. Just the way it is. And so let's give it a shot. Um, here are some of the things that, that I want to make sure you know. Um, I've been asked every once in a while, well, can I buy stuff that looks kind of like it, but cheaper? The answer is no. Get it from Land's End still. Um, you can get it from Land's End cheaper, though, than what's on the list price. You just have to wait for it to go on sale. Somebody called Tara over the Christmas break and said, skirts are on sale for 10 bucks. So Tara got online, ordered some skirts, had a little coupon for free shipping. So my little savvy shopper over there. Um, and so there are those, those deals that come out, and we want to teach you how to find those deals. I will say this, without any doubt, the first year we do this, it's going to end up costing a little bit more. That's just the way it is. Without a doubt, the years after that will cost you less. No question about that. So uh, let's get through this first year. Let's do this. Let's do this well. It is a little bit of a work in progress. We're going to figure out what works for us and what doesn't work at Ben Lippin. The, uh, the next thing I have on my list is, uh, I think some good news, is uh, one thing that didn't make it onto our five things for the strategic plan was transportation. Um, I looked over a list of our buses. We have to insure our buses every year, and so they have the VIN number, and actually the year it was made. Yeah, some of you are laughing already. The, the youngest bus we had was 1996. That makes it a teenager. So we are, we are due for some newer transportation. Now, <laughs> remember, everything is a cost-benefit analysis here. To do that, we need to purchase those things. We keep waiting for somebody to give us a bus. And it just hasn't happened yet. Although, some might be surprised that the ones we have haven't just been given to us or found on the side of the road. Um, <laughs> But the, some of the good news with that is we received two wonderful gifts over the Christmas break, and that's allowed us to buy one new bus for us. In fact, I think Polly's got, you have a picture of that back on it? It doesn't look exactly like this yet. Polly did a great job superimposing. We're going to actually have a little wrap put on it, and it'll look like this when we get it back. We really desperately need a travel bus. Um, the more we, for our athletic events, we go, the, the radius at which we'll travel in our buses continues to shrink. And so we are actually having to lease buses to go to some of the farther places that we have to travel. And so we'd love to buy one of those. The price tag on those travel buses is about $100,000. So my encouragement is, uh, if you're passionate about that, let's, let's, we're going to try to get, get that thing rolling. That's, in fact, one of the things that development officer will, will be trying to do for us is getting, getting things like that.